So, welcome to another episode. So, this week I've been working on the patrol a bit, so I've been getting my hands dirty on the mechanical side of things. So, one thing I've noticed I've always been looking for is rags. So, I've picked up a big bag of rags. These boys are right here, so this is all well and good, but getting them out, you know, like, Always, you know, it's a bit of an effort to get these things out. So I decided I'm gonna make a rag box or a rag storage thing, just a rag. Something that I can put my rags in so I can easily get them. That's the plan for today, so let's get stuck into it. Right, so as you can probably see, I've moved my blower onto that back wall there and I'm planning on putting the rag station here. So I'm gonna essentially build a box for it with the opening so I can pull the rags out and an opening at the top so I can fill them up. And I might incorporate another paper towel dispenser here, but we'll see how we go. So pretty much the rags will be up at like that level where I can pull them out. So start making this box. Righto, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the edge off the area where the opening to pull the rags out will be. So just don't want that sharp edge where your hands obviously constantly going. So this will probably make a bit more sense when I get it all together, but that's what I'm doing here. And then here I've just marked out a little slot that I'll have on the face of the unit itself. Just so I've got a bit of a marker of how many rags I've got left in the box so I'll know when to refill it, so that's what's happening here. And then this is just the removable lid, so I just drilled a hole just so I can get a finger in there and just pop the lid off, so that's where I'll fill it up with the rags later. And then just a quick sand and a quick lick of paint on the sides and she's ready to go up. Alright, so it's all dry, I'll quickly bang this up and then I've got a bit of glove storage and another paper towel holder that I want to incorporate into this little area. So, yeah, let's get into it. Right, so essentially for these, I'm making a glorified tissue box just to hold the box that these already come with. So that'll go up there, and then I'll be making a mount for this, just with a bit of that dowel that I've got left over, and I'll just make a bit of a, I don't know, a box that goes around it, and the dowel can like slide in, so I can slide the whole thing out, put the new roll in, and then slide it back in. So that'll be, I don't know, something like that. And uh, yeah, shouldn't take too long. Alright, so what I've done here is, I've just mocked up the end, so I need something for the dowel to slide into and then drop down, so then when I'm pulling on the uh, towel itself, it's not going to want to roll off the actual mount, so I was going to like route her out a channel in there, but too much effort, so I'm just going to laminate another bit of uh, this ply onto the end panel. And I'm actually just going to cut out that, that sort of groove in it just so the rod will go in and then drop down into the little slot 
and then when I want to pull the towel out, I'll pop it back in. I can just lift up and pull out. So that should work out good. So I just need to um, cut another couple of these with this weird shape on it and glue that to the end panels and then put it all together and it should be all good. Alright, so I've cut those grooves so the dowel will just sit in there. Now I'll just make sure they're both perfectly identical. So I'll just get a bit of sandpaper and just a bit of random bit of timber I'll use just to sort of sand it all both together. So I'll just clamp them in the vise. Alright, so I've quickly just clamped up the basic sort of shape. Got the two uh, sectioned out pieces that I'll glue to these end panels. This is the dowel that will run in there and just slide in. So when I'm pulling on the towel, it's not gonna wanna come out. And then just for a bit of extra support, I'm just gonna put a small little rail along the back here because I don't wanna put a full piece all the way. So that'll just sort of help a little bit of stability. And yeah, then I'll just screw it back to the wall and she's all good to go. Alright, so I think I changed my mind on where I want to put it. Originally I was going to put it in here, but I'm thinking that's a better spot. So if that's sitting up there, put my piece in. I feel like that's a bit better. So I'll screw this up and then I'll work out how I'm going to do this uh, glove holder. Alright, so when I was trying to work out exactly where I wanted to actually put these, I was just thinking right here and then I absolutely fluked this. But it is the exact right fit for a uh, friction fit for this box. So I was thinking about just leaving it like that. But just for extra precaution, I might just put a little, um, little piece in underneath and maybe like a front lip. And then, yeah, that's it. So when I want to change the box, I just lift up, pop it out. So i work out a way to um, screw this back and yeah, that's it. So I just got a uh, drill bit that's bigger than a screw head and then I'll probably just drill until I've got a bit of bite. So I'll drill about halfway with this and then the rest I'll do straight through the wall. So I'll just clamp this to the table, might just add an unintentional thing that's come in handy is this rail along the outside edge of the all the benches so I can always just got something to clamp straight onto so that's been handy I reckon. There you go. So that's all we're gonna do for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. So we've got the uh, rags dispenser up on the wall. Also we've got that slot on the face. So if I'm running low, I'll be able to see when they're running low. Got the uh, towel dispenser up on the wall. Easily pop on and off. Just gotta lift up and pull out, and vice versa to get it back on. And the gloves on the wall. So pretty happy how all this has turned out. Definitely should be set for any dirty work on any of the cars. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, smash the like and subscribe button. So we see you on the next episode. But until then, keep having a crack. Cheers for watching.